damn, I look good. No filter needed. All right, Shh, I used a filter, but don't tell anyone, okay? Now let me ask you, is this guy just confident? Is he just another annoying millennial who posts way too much on social media? Or is he just a total narcissist? Let me explain this video, keep watching. Hey there, you sexy single ladies. Adam LaDolce here from sexyconfidence.com where I help the 21st century woman create a love life that she absolutely freaking loves. And since I help women just like you, I needed to make a video about narcissists because men are far more likely to be narcissists than you women. And this is backed by a ton of data. A huge analysis was just done looking back at over 350 different studies that have really looked at over 400,000 people who have participated. They found that statistically men are much more are likely to be narcissists than women. Now there are many different evolutionary theories or just psychological theories that you can go into as to why this is the case, but rather than waste our time on that, why don't we just make sure that you just stay the f away from one of these guys, okay? But here's the problem. You're probably attracted to confident men with high self-esteem, and sadly, when you first meet someone, it's easy to think a guy has high self-esteem when he's actually a narcissist. So let me start by clarifying the key differences so you don't fall into this trap. Now, narcissists feel superior to others, but don't necessarily like themselves. In fact, narcissists' feelings about themselves tend to be entirely based on the opinions of others. Hence, the selfies. Whereas people with high self-esteem tend not to feel necessarily superior to others and generally accept themselves regardless of what other people think of them. Make sense? Just because he has, of course, one of these signs doesn't mean he's a narcissist, but if you're seeing three, four, or certainly five, then it's definitely very possible. Number five, he loves to talk about himself. If every conversation revolves around him, I, me, my, rather than you, then there is definitely a problem. It almost feels like he's bragging about the things that he's done just for your validation. And then when you won't give him that validation, he'll try even harder. Number four, unless you agree with him, he really doesn't want to hear your opinion. He doesn't want to hear your feelings because he doesn't give a shit about your feelings. He only cares about you caring about his feelings. He'll dismiss you and maybe even make you feel stupid at times, especially if you embarrass him. Number three is he expects you to cater completely to his needs without him needing to reciprocate at all. The dude is entitled to you doing his laundry because he seems to think that his dirty laundry smells like fresh baked cookies from the oven. Even though he knows deep down inside, it still smells like shit, just like the rest of us. And he's certainly never gonna do your laundry for you. Number two, he can be very, very charming when he wants something from you. But sadly, once he does get whatever it is that he wants, he'll drop you like a bad habit. Which doesn't make sense, because you, my sexy lady, are a damn sexy good habit that should be held, cuddled, and loved, certainly not dropped. And if he does drop you, then consider a blessing. And finally, number one is that narcissists feed off spreading negative emotions to others and tend to be emotionally abusive. And this is because they have such a fragile ego that they're willing to put you down to make themselves feel better. Did you just get a promotion at work? He'll tell you that you didn't deserve it because inside he's pissed that he didn't get that promotion. So let me ask you, have you ever dated a narcissist? Leave your story below and this is a great way to be a part of this amazing community and share your story. And also if you enjoyed this video and you want to avoid those types of guys and find an amazing relationship, then make sure you go ahead and click the link up there or right there and head on over to sexyconfidence.com. Join my email list where you're going to get a ton of amazing resources that are going to help you through every single stage of dating, relationships, and finding love. So make sure you click on that link. And also don't forget to subscribe on YouTube for more videos just like this every single Thursday. And of course, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like below. Finally, don't forget to click on that link to sexyconfidence.com and I will see you, you sexy lady, next week. Bye-bye.